Hello, pharmacy friends. My name is Heather Haro. You are here on the Becoming a Pharmacy Badass podcast. I am here today with my good friend, Nicole, from the National Association of Nutritional Professionals. Um, and I am so thrilled to have these ladies or this lady. Um, she she has a, a very good sidekick or a co-worker. Um, I don't, she's just amazing. Uh, her other gal is fantastic, but we are here with Nicole today. Um, and she is going to tell us who they are, what they do, and why in the world a pharmacist would care and how you can really... Um, put this into practice into your pharmacy. So um, I love this because Nicole is so very fantastic with the strategy of how to do it, not what they are and how wonderful they are, which they cover all of those boxes. They are phenomenal organization. And I think you guys will all agree with me after she chats, but her expertise on how to actually use it is phenomenal. So hello, Nicole. Hi, Heather. Thanks for having me. Yes, of course, of course, of course. So tell us a little bit about yourself. So um, I'm the executive director of the National Association of Nutrition Professionals. We represent um, holistically trained nutrition professionals. Um, and I've been with the organization for about 17 years. And before that, I was uh, I negotiated contracts for health plans in the managed care industry. Wow. 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 So you've seen it from all, all angles. I've seen it from all angles. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your organization. Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen. There we go. There we go. Um, Make it pretty. Yeah. So the uh, we lovingly call our association the NANP. Um, we are the only professional business league that is solely dedicated to furthering the cause and education and standards of the holistic nutrition industry. Um, we do a lot of advocacy work to make sure that our people are able to practice um, legally in as many states as possible in the United States. And we currently have a little over 1,200 members. Um, we have three different levels of membership. We have um, people who are associate, meaning that maybe they're a health coach or something like that. Um, or we have professional members. These are people who've gone to nutrition school and graduated from nutrition school. And then we have students who are actually in nutrition school currently. Um, we have approximately 400 board certified members. Our association offers a board certification, the only one for holistic nutrition professionals. Um, so the reason that I'm so excited to talk to you today, Heather, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share this information with your audience. Of course. Um, is that I really want to talk about one aspect of our business and one certification that we're offering um, that's fairly new to the marketplace. Okay. And um, so back in 2013, I got a call from a gentleman I did not know um, at a very, very large worldwide retailer that sells dietary supplements amongst many other things. Sure. And they were looking for a national organization that could develop a certification exam for dietary supplements for the people who work in their whole body department. And the reason they wanted to do this is that they had discovered that by paying to train the people in their wine department as sommeliers, mm -hmm. they were selling a lot more and a lot more expensive right. wine. That makes, <laughs> so that makes total sense. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Yes, so yes. They wanted to extend that same offering to the people who worked in their dietary supplement department. So they asked if our organization was interested. Our board of directors said, absolutely. They've identified actually something that's missing in the marketplace. Sure. And so we developed the certified dietary supplement professional credential. Okay. And so the way that it works is, and I'm going to kind of go through some, some steps here, but the way yes, that it works please. is that you would identify the person or people um, in your team who okay. you would want to get educated and become certified. Now, we don't offer the education ourselves. It's kind of unethical for the organization that's providing the certification to also provide the education. So the education is um, obtained. Currently, we have one school that has developed a program specifically for the Certified Dietary Supplement Professional Exam. And that's okay. the American College of Healthcare Sciences. 
Okay. Um, the program only, it's cost less than $500. Um, so it's very price point positive. Yes. Um, once the education is earned, then the person would come to our association to take the exam. I and see. Once the exam is passed, then of course there is some continuing education to maintain that credential over the years. Um, right. So, but that's kind of the process is one, two, three, four, right? Who so, who is a good candidate? Is it just the pharmacist in the pharmacy, or is it any and all team members? Any and all team members, because here's that's such a good question too, Heather. Because I think a lot of people might look at this and go, "It has to be the pharmacist." It doesn't have to be the pharmacist. It could be your cashier. And here's why. Okay. Because this program is designed and the educational standards around the certification exam were developed so that when people get the education, they're getting the anatomy, they're getting the physiology, they're getting the biochem, right? So they're getting all of that education sort of foundational, um, they're going to get the nutritional support of the body, two semesters worth, right? Um, mm -hmm. Two semester credits worth. Nutraceuticals, two semester credits worth. And, and we've identified here that it is a one semester credit equivalent to 45 educational hours. That doesn't mean lecture hours. I want to be really clear about that. Okay. What it means is all of the educational hours, your study time, time on projects, time taking tests time listening to lecture, time studying. That's what constitutes one semester credit, okay? Wow, um, so 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 you need eight credits total. One is just 40 hours. So if you hit this, you could be done in eight weeks. Correct. Or or sooner for over, our overachieving for friends. our overachievers, <laughs> yes, whom I love, whom I love, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. And so here's where it gets really, really good for um, the business. Okay. Is that we dedicate three semester credits to understanding the legal responsibilities of, of selling dietary supplements and also supplement quality. So, so important that when you're selling dietary supplements, you know what to say. Most importantly, you know what not to say. Okay. Because you don't want to get your employer the, in trouble. Yeah, that's always the linchpin, isn't <laughs> that's it? That's it. Yeah. But the supplement quality. So just over the weekend, uh, because we chat about many exhibitors that are many of our partners and exhibitors that are supplement companies. And just over the weekend, um, we got a, I got a question about just that, about how great supplements are. Now, this question was obviously out of my league. They said all of Amazon. And of course, I was like, I have no, I, I don't know that anybody knows that. Yeah. Um, but um work with companies that you do know, or uh, in this case, what an awesome way for the pharmacist to market their team uh, as being able to help you identify good quality supplements. I think, yeah. and today's, that is a, such a hot topic all over social media too. Don't buy junk supplements, don't buy junk supplements, buy these because of these. Um, and so you can take that kind of ride that coattail of what is super popular in social media world into your brick and mortar. And I think this is a fantastic vehicle to be able to do that. I, I completely agree with you. Listen, the tide is turning on health. Mm -hmm. People are becoming more health conscious and in doing so, they're looking for alternatives. Now, some people, of course, they need you know, pharmaceuticals, of course they do. But there may be others, and there are a lot of others who can benefit from dietary supplements mm -hmm. um, that maybe are a little bit less invasive on the body, right? right. Um, right. And so that's really what we're hoping to promote here. Yeah, I, I just love it. Great. So the application requirements are pretty, actually pretty, um, pretty, uh, easy to fulfill. We would okay. look for a copy of the diploma, a copy of the certificate. Um, we do ask for some internal documents to be um, signed and agreed upon, like our declaration of truthfulness and intention and our professional conduct agreement. Okay. Um, a copy of a driver's license or a state uh, issued ID. And then the official transcripts 
um, from having graduated from the program. Okay. Um, or, or let's say you've been to a lot of webinars and seminars and, and you've seen a lot of information about dietary supplements, but it didn't come from one source. We right. can do an independent educational review where you send all of that information to us and we figure out if you've met all of the educational standards in order to take the test without having to go through the education. So there yeah. is that option. Yeah, I love that because a lot of pharmacists get a lot of what we just showed in that previous slide in pharmacy school. So yes. pharmacists wouldn't necessarily uh, need to attend those classes. It would be someone like Heather Haro, who has never taken not one semester in the healthcare field um, to be able to 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 then get this certification. Yes. Uh, I, I forgot about that. And we should mention that pharmacists yeah. don't freak out. This isn't an automatic $500 for you to get certified. You may already be at a fantastic place to just get that certification to be able to, you know, yell it from the rooftops. Absolutely. And so, you know, getting the education is also separate from studying for the exam. Mm. If you've been through pharmacy school and you think you've got a good edge on dietary supplements, you can just study for the exam and take it. And we have a study guide that walks you through what you need to know. I love that. I love Great. that. So then we also ask for a signed um, code of ethics. Um, this is our seal um, for the certified dietary supplement professional, which we'll see in our marketing materials as well. So there are three domains to the exam. Um, domain one is nutritional health and body systems. Okay. Domain two is fundamentals of dietary supplements. And then domain three, this is our little favorite one that we talked about, legal responsibilities and supplement quality. And so you sit for the exam, you pass the exam, you become credentialed. How do you maintain your credential? You remain a member of NANP in good standing. Um, and depending on your level of membership, um, you may not have to earn um, you know, that many continuing education units to maintain your credentials. So for associate members, we ask for five um, continuing ed credits per year. For our professional members, because they're already required to get 10, then we yeah. ask for two more in addition. I love that. I yeah. Love that. Oops. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> about that. Um, Nicole, what is the cost of your membership? Your Because you have annual memberships. We do have okay. annual membership. Um, so for our professional members, it's $259 a year. Okay. And for our associate members, it's two oh nine per year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So affordable, very affordable, very absolutely, very affordable. absolutely affordable. Lots and lots of resources, um, and you can go onto our website to see what kinds of resources we have okay. for our members. It's nanp.org. Okay, all right, very good. Yeah. So. Um, how, so this is what everybody's really interested in, right? All the other stuff is good, but this is the kind of the meat of what we want to talk about. How that can, right. <laughs> how can having a CDSP on your team benefit your business? That's the question, right? Right. Well, here's what we know. Um, according to the Polaris market research that we did, we discovered that the dietary supplement market is predicted to reach, hold on to your hat. $380 billion by the year 2032. I It is so believable. I spend a lot on supplements a month and I'm just one little person. <laughs> so I, I definitely think that, and, and that money, why shouldn't, this is what I think when I hear that number, why shouldn't it go to the local communities? Why shouldn't it go to independent pharmacists who really already have this knowledge? They just need to stretch their knowledge, just, you know, yell the knowledge from the rooftop. And I think, I think we're in a position where we don't trust anybody. So we're looking for a, a beacon in our community to trust. Um, because you, if you get on the internet, you hear this thing is so terrible. This thing is so fantastic. Same thing. Uh, you get the news. Everybody hates the news. Everybody loves the news. Like yeah. we're so polarized um, that I think this pos helps position independent pharmacy as absolute um, uh, trusted folks. So I, I love that. So get a piece of, of your billion people. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, you know, currently we're looking at about, a, you know, the industry being about 194 billion for 2024. That's that's over a 95 percent growth rate. You really want to take advantage of that. And I agree with you, Heather. It, you know, you want to be the trusted and you want to stand out. Yes. You know, why? Why am I going to go to my little teeny tiny I own pharmacy? Um, I live in a small town in Northern California. Why do I want to go there versus driving into town and going to CVS or, mm -hmm. you know, going any place else? If you're right. really trying to build your brand, this is an exceptional way to take advantage of this wave. I right? love it. Yeah. I love it. So customer service benefits of having a CDSP on your staff. First of all, as you just said, trusted, right? Credibility. Yeah right? Um, assurance that when you're spending money, because if you're if you're carrying good quality dietary supplements, they probably aren't inexpensive. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you're buying what's right. That's right. right? Um, and then validation of that you're giving people the right information. That's very, very important. So we really encourage people to um, think about how they can demonstrate to their customer base that they are committed to excellence not just in the pharmaceutical uh, uh, realm, but also in dietary supplements. Right. You know, I, I also think about our poor little owners that often put all of the work on their own shoulders. And I think that this creates a knowledgeable pharmacy, not just one person. So it doesn't become dependent on the pharmacist to be able to help these folks, they can continue on the business owners, the pharmacists continue to run their business while still creating um, a trusted destination that doesn't rely solely on them. And I, I, I love spreading the wealth uh, and, and that it seems like such a natural delegation. So it might help with some of us that have a hard time uh, uh, exercising that muscle of delegation too. Absolutely. You know, there's no reason why um, you, you wouldn't want to have all of your pharmacy techs trained so that if somebody isn't there one day or um, you're overwhelmed because it's just a particularly busy time, that anybody on the team can help and can continue to provide quality service to your customers and get them the right products, right? Yeah. That's what we're really talking about here, yeah. okay? I think we've all walked through places uh, that sell dietary supplements. And I know for me, I have to sometimes cover my ears when I hear what, what the salesperson is telling a customer 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just wrong. Yes. It's just wrong. And a lot of times what they're saying, they should not be saying from a right. legal perspective, right? So there's a liability issue there right. as well. This is so important that we're, if you're selling customers the right product, first of all, it's going to work, right? Yep, absolutely. If it works, they're going to tell somebody. Yes. If they tell somebody, then you're probably going to gain not only that customer who's going to come back because the product worked, but they're also going to maybe bring friends and family to you, right? Right. right. I so love it. The happy customer results, right? Return yes. business plus referrals equals increased profits. And who doesn't want increased profits, right? We all do. All we, all do. <laughs> we all do. So as you said, you know, scream it from the mountaintops, right? Just let everybody know. And we're here to provide the marketing materials. You don't have to create those. Okay. We have these available for you. Um, and so we have window clings. Um, we have rack cards, we have trifold register tents, and we have, and I have one here. I think I have one here. I should have had it out. Where's my pin? Oh, I lost my pin. My apologies. I have a pin. I, I misplaced my pin. That's um, okay. You can see it on the little gal's shirt um, in the orange. There we go. <laughs> found my pin. Okay, so this is literally, it's a pin that they can put on their apron. If they wear an apron while they're working, they can put it on their shirt while they're working that identifies them as the member of your team or one of the members of your team who can help make dietary supplement recommendations, right? I love this. Yes. Ready to go. It's all ready to go. Yes. Okay. I love assets, Nicole. We love you, assets. You're speaking our language. <laughs> well, especially assets, nobody has to do anything too. That's right. I mean, 
And we've made them in a way that you can just literally make labels and smack the label on so that you have your branding, your contact information on these materials. And I think yep. that's very, very important, right? Yeah, I think that's why we get along so well. You you really do. You guys over there speak our language and, and I love it. I love that. I love that. So, you know, if you're interested, if you have a pharmacy that you would like to get started, I invite you to contact Tiffany, um, Tiffany at NANP.org, and she can get you started. Or if you just want to go to our website and just kind of, you know, check it out, go to our uh, main menu, go to certifications yeah. and go to the CDSP. There's so much information there for you. Yeah. And let me just give a little shout out to Tiffany. Uh, because she is fabulous in follow-up, like you cannot believe. She, uh, <laughs> she's a woman after my own heart in that not give up grittiness. And I love that. And so I think that having her speak to our pharmacists and getting them on board is, is so fantastic. You guys will all love Tiffany. That's, that's what I have to say. <laughs> yes, she's a phenom. She's amazing. We're yeah. very blessed to have her. And she's very passionate about this work. Um, uh, and she's brought a lot of dietary supplement manufacturers and partners to our organization. Um, so we also have some great recommendations. If you have pharmacies that are interested okay. in quality products, we can make some great recommendations there as well. Yeah, of course. I, I can't tell you how much I love you ladies and how excited I am for um, to really see if our members win our members, we know our members are awesome and early adopters, um, but how, how this plays out for them and how this increases supplement sales. So we are constantly, constantly um, talking about upsells. Um, and I think this is fabulous. This is a fabulous add on to um, nutrient depletion, to all of the ways that you can upsell. This is such just a, a natural progression of making your folks um, really experts. And I absolutely love that. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on with us today. Um, there will be some resources in our YouTube, um, to Tiffany's email, their website, all of that fun stuff for you all to go check out. Um, thank you all for listening. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, Nicole. I will talk to you guys again later. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, Heather.